It's Friday, and you know what that means. Let's do a little bit of sewing chat. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews, and thanks for hanging with me, you all. So today's another Friday Sews where I get to tell you all about what's been under my machine, what I have coming up, and, well, share with you what's been going on on the personal front. Now, a quick note. Friday Sews is actually the brainchild of Jen over at Today in Jen's Sewing Room. And as always, I'll put her link in the description box below. Well, I guess with all of that being said, let's just start off with what's actually been under my sewing machine. So Bragas is starting to wind down. And it's dawned on me that I really haven't made very many bras. I think I made a sports bra. I made one legit bra <laughs> using my frog fabric. And then this week I made another bra. So I made this one. And this is another Marlboro bra. I used the kit that I picked up from Birch Traders to make this one. So it's a rayon here. And then it has that beautiful lace up on the top little tiny bow and then on the inside it's all lined with bra tool and you can see here that all of my edges are encased my cat so I did make a couple of changes to this bra um, and mostly because well you know you gain a little bit of weight and your boobs get bigger and you all, like, it, it's just, it's crazy. The boobs keep just getting bigger. They get bigger and bigger. I know that's not everyone's problem. I know some people would actually like to have that problem, but gosh, man, come on. Because they keep getting bigger, I just went ahead and sliced open the very bottom piece of my cup and added an extra quarter inch um, wedge, basically, down at that bottom to give me a little bit more space, and I think it did the trick. One other change that I made was that I actually removed about an inch off of the side here. I found that the last one, and well, honestly, like the last, all of the bras I've ever made have come up too high to where you can actually see them through the arm side of my garment. So I decided to bring this one down and I shaved it down about an inch right on this side. Well, and on the other side, cause you know, they need a match. I really do like where this one ended up a lot better. I've got three more fabric kits for bras. So I plan on just kind of squeezing in a new bra when I get the chance. Truth be told, I really need new bras. I mean, it's, I, 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 need, I need some new support around here. <laughs> the other thing that I've been working on is um, my Dress-A-Girl dress. Um, so this is what I made for Project Dress-A-Girl. Oh, that's the backside. If this fabric actually looks familiar, it's because I used the remnants from my peacock dress that I recently made with some Ankara. And so because I had this beautiful fabric left over, I thought, let me just make a little girl dress. So this was a quick little sundress that I put together. It has elastic at the top, bias ties, and a little seam in the back. While we're talking about my little dress a girl dress let's talk about project dress a girl you all i am so incredibly excited for september because that's going to be the month where we're going to be sewing dresses to donate to little girls around the world the kickoff will be on september 1st and let me tell you i have got some special guests for you coming up Oh, they're gonna be so good. They're really amazing YouTubers. So all of our special guests are gonna be bringing videos to you. There's going to be Zoom sew-alongs and there's also going to be tutorials and things on how to make some simple dresses for donation. So if that all sounds like something you wanna get involved in, definitely subscribe and turn on your notifications. Just click that bell so that way you'll know when that September kickoff video hits and you'll get all of the details there. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to it. I should probably note that because I'm doing a lot of planning for Project Dress a Girl and creating content for that, I will not have a Sunday video this week. So, so sorry about that, but trust me, I think it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so what else is coming up? 
my socation. You all, I was so super excited for my socation that I thought it was going to be this weekend. <laughs> And it's not. It's next weekend. It's Labor Day weekend. <laughs> I'm still really excited. I can't wait to see all of the ladies. I can't wait to do some amazing sewing. Just lots of projects with them. And of course, I'm going to be sharing some fun details with you. If you're interested in hearing more about this occasion, here's the link to my last Friday Sews video where you can catch that. <laughs> you all, I mean, I did all of my cheering and dancing in that video. I did. Okay, so now on a personal front, um, I have been getting a lot of comments about my earrings lately. And so I thought I'd just hop on here really quickly and share with you where I've been getting them from. I've got this really bad paparazzi addiction. If you're not familiar with paparazzi jewelry, it's basically like everything is $5. Bracelets, earrings, necklaces, stuff like that. They might have some special collections that might be $25 for an entire set, but for the most part, it's like five dollars a pop which really gets me because you all my cousin is my dealer of choice and she'll do these facebook lives and i'm just like i want that i want that i want that yeah give me that one too <laughs> before you know it i've got like 10 pieces coming to me i mean like 10 earrings because i'm an earring girl it's actually been a really fun addiction of mine I'll be sure to post a link to her paparazzi store in the description below. So also on the personal front, some really not fun stuff. You are. So about five years ago, we had our gutters replaced and well, fast forward and the gutters fell off of the side of my house. I mean, let me just show you these gutters real quick. Well, let me just take you right on over to the side of the house here because it's a little crazy. See that? My gutter basically fell right off the house one day during a really bad storm and it took the soffit with it, fascia board, everything. I mean, it is, it's a mess, you all. We called the people who had installed it. Um, they asked us to send us pictures and then quickly said that it was not their fault um, they blamed rotted wood. We had four other contractors come out and take a look at this. They all looked at it. They, they said the wood was fine. The reason why these gutters fell down was because of faulty workmanship. And so I guess it's just really frustrating because we've been going back and forth with the original company, which is actually a nationwide company. I mean, it, they're not small. And they refuse to even send someone out to take a look at what's going on here. So, <sighs> yeah, that's been, it's been a little crazy. We finally chose a contractor and hopefully we'll have this taken care of soon. So that way we just don't have to worry about all of this. Also, we sprang a leak totally unrelated behind the wall in one of our bathrooms so we had to bust that open take out the sink get another contractor in to finish that and well he did a really good job and i'm really happy with the way that it ended up being so hey upgraded vanity yay <laughs> Well, with all of that going on, I'm still really looking forward to September and Project Dress a Girl. Don't forget to check out my last Friday Sews video where I shared with you the details of my socation. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.